All right, a question about how to do some uh, assembly. So um, we're going to open up his part here. Now, he didn't do a pack and go, so it's got the, oh man, I'm going to butcher that, so I'm going to try. Um, it's not included, so we're going to skip that. And then it'll say uh, it's got an unresolved component. So that's the part here. So it didn't uh, get included with the uh, attachment in the actual uh, post. So uh, real quick before we get into it, an easier way is right here, pack and go. So instead of just doing saving them and then attaching them one by one, you can do a pack and go. And then it'll bring up... Uh, okay. So what it'll say is you can call this stuff, you can skip the libraries, model files only, and then search. So it doesn't know where that part is because it's not included, but if it was, it would come up. And here we are. So then it shows up all the parts in here, make sure they're included, and you just click start, and it'll include them. So uh, in the future, that's an easier way to do it. Now, um, in this instance, I'm just going to delete these because I am. So now we have our two parts. Now, the first thing I notice is um, that they're unconstrained, so you can move them both around. Uh, good rule is ground one of them. So we're just going to grab this one and ground and root it. So right there. What that does is it puts up constraints to center points or center planes, and then uh, locks it in place as a grounded constraint here. So that way this thing can't move and this thing can. So then let's turn our edges. Now we've got two parts. You can use constrain here. Bring up, select our first part, our second part, we'll snap to it, apply. So now looks like it can move around, but if you actually click on here, it's constrained directly to there. So if we drag it a little bit closer, let's see if it's mating again. Looks like the size is still off, but uh, that's something you can figure out. So let's constrain it again, make these flush, edge to edge. So this edge and that edge snap into place. So now we only have one degree of freedom on the plane. So now we're going to constrain it again. Flush face to face. Snaps to place. So all this stuff is now squared in. This thing can't move. This thing can't move because you have three constraints right here. 